Hey there, it's Lily, your Undertaker Offer, here to lift the veil on death care and talk about finding beauty in the finite. One thing I get asked a lot is what's the difference between a funeral director, a mortician, and an undertaker? Well, to be honest, they're all the same thing. When I tell people I'm a funeral director, they often say, oh, that's interesting, but you don't do that mortician stuff, do you? I'm inclined to believe that this probably means embalming stuff, which I am getting dual licensed to be both a director and an embalmer. So I do all of it. But the terms mortician and undertaker, the older terms kind of have negative connotations every once in a while. Usually when someone says mortician or undertaker, one of two things comes to mind. Either the scary, gaunt, pale, tall, lurch-looking guy, or the Schatz brothers from Pushing Daisies. If you know, you know. Swindlers just making money off people's grief. It's bad, and that's not who we are. So the term funeral director sounded modern, nicer, just easy to digest, I guess. I know mortician definitely has a resurgence right now, especially among kind of like the alternative community, which is super cool. And a lot of funeral directors really embrace the title, but out in the world, it's still thought of as a scary thing sometimes. And it's really exciting to see such a high percentage of women coming into the field that are really kind of changing the face of death care. I know in a lot of states, it's still really, really white, really, really masculine, really, really straight. But here in Oregon, I'm seeing a lot of women, a lot of queers, and we're really trying to take care of each other and making a community again, which is really neat. I feel like that's something that funeral directors have always done, is that they care for community. I love the idea of living and working in my community I don't get that luxury because I live out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but I get to work with so many different people too. Working where I do, I get to meet people from all walks of life and learn all the different ways that people take care of their decedents and their loved ones. And it's a beautiful thing.